In this video, we'll show how you can use your mobile phone as a fully supported client in Edge Impulse, where you can sample raw data from the accelerometer and microphone, build a machine learning model, and then deploy that machine learning model back to your phone. So to get started, go to your Edge Impulse project and click connect a new device. And when you click use your mobile phone, a QR code will pop up. And this QR code you can scan with the camera of your phone. So on the left here, I have uh, my iPhone. And when I scan this code, a website pops up. Um, and my device connects with a certain name. And when you refresh your devices page, your device now shows up here. And this device behaves like any other Edge Impulse device. So you can see that it has two sensors, the accelerometer and the microphone, and that it's connected over remote management, which means that I can sample data and control this device directly from the studio. So let's use that to actually collect some data. So go to the Data Acquisition tab, um, and then Record New Data, my device is here, um, and I can set a label, so what am I going to do with the device? Um, we're gonna train a gesture recognition system. The tutorial of that is below. Um, so I'm going to sample for five seconds from the accelerometer at this frequency. So when I click start sampling, the device will start and it will sample data for five seconds while I'm doing up down movement with my phone. Um, and it plots data like any other device. So you see here a bunch of peaks on the Z axis while I was moving the device up and down. Um, so I'm going to add some more data and I'll get back to you in a few minutes to show how you can then deploy the trained machine learning model back to the device. So a few minutes later, I have a fully trained machine learning model that achieved pretty good accuracy on my gesture recognition data set. Now we can deploy this full model back to the device. And the way that we do that is that we take the complete impulse, so any signal processing blocks that you might have, we have one, a spectral features block, um, and any machine learning blocks, here a neural network and an anomaly detection block, package that all up, compile it, and then deliver it as a WebAssembly blob to your web browser. Um, and then we run the inferencing engine using the WebAssembly blob. So that means that we don't use any connection to Edge Impulse to run this. It's a fully local experience. So we collect some sample data, ask the machine learning model to classify that, and then print it out. And none of this requires an internet connection. Um, so to do that, let's switch to classification modes. Um, this will download the WebAssembly blob and build it if necessary. And now we're classifying. So right now it's laying idly on my desk. Um, but if I now pick it up and I start doing up and down, classifies that. If I do wave, classifies that. And if I shake vividly, we get a very high anomaly score, an anomaly score of 5.24, indicating this is something we've never seen before. So super easy and super fast to deploy this model back to the device. Um, and this also works if I just disable my connectivity on my phone. We'll just continue running because this is a fully deployed local machine learning model that now runs in your browser. Um, if you want to deploy this yourself, you can go to the deployment tab um, and in here, as an output format, you select WebAssembly. And this will give you a zip file with a .js file and a WASM file that you can then run, for example, from Node.js or directly from your browser. There's the tutorial in the docs and I'll put the link down below as well. So I hope this was useful. I think it's a tremendous way of building your data set and verifying that your machine learning model works but just leveraging what we already have in our pocket, a really capable sensor device with a fantastic accelerometer and a beautiful microphone. So I can't just wait to see what you built.